Hi, welcome to Crystal's Diamond Painting. I'm Crystal. I want to take this moment to say hi, how are you? Hope this finds you all doing well. All right, so if you haven't subscribed yet, excuse me one second while I grab this pen. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now and hit the notification bell so you can get notified each and every time I upload a video. The little notification bell, shape like a bell, you hit it, and you can personalize or switch it to all, whatever you want to do. But anyways, um, giveaway time. I'm um, talking about this. Lays and lathe work pen. Okay, I'm going to put a picture up there too, but there is this pen. Um, all you have to do is subscribe and comment. I want it. When we get 50 comments, I will be doing the giveaway. Um, it does have some sparkle and shine to it. Let me see. Can you see that? Okay. So anyways, love this pen. Love it. Um, can't wait for someone to give it a new home and call it theirs. Okay. So uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Going to be doing one of Diamond Art Club and I will get you down on the table. Hold on. I think we have the whole thing in the frame now. Uh, if we have to move it around, we will. Okay, so Diamond Art Club box. You can tell it's around diamond art based on the symbol there and this line the color there um, if it were blue and square it would be a square one but it is red or pink whatever color you want to call that I think it's pink some people have called it red um, but anyways it is a square or excuse me around okay so on the back it tells you the contents of the kit which has absolutely everything you need to do a diamond painting kit for the first time um, it has absolutely everything and then it tells you how to do it you peel back the film off the canvas you select a symbol and pick the corresponding color put the uh, wax in your pen put the diamonds in your tray go ahead and shake it a little bit line them up then use your pen to pick up the diamonds and place the diamonds on the corresponding symbols numbers or shapes um, letters on the canvas and as you complete it, you will complete your picture. So anyways, there's that in a nutshell. All right. Let's see. Okay, box is empty. All right, set this off to the side for a second. Let's talk about our kit. What comes in this little baggie? All right, so everything you need to do your diamond painting kit, your kit um, is here. You've got your pen, single placer on this end, squishy, place on there. If you have an extra kit, place two squishies on there. That way when you rotate it to a multi-placer, you're not having to move the squishy, you can just keep rotating it and stay on top of a squishy. Um, some baggies, the multi-placer I was talking about, which is nice because it's a thin one. And then two wax patties. And I do prefer Diamond Art Club wax over a lot of the other waxes I've ever received. And then a tray. Okay, so I'm gonna set this off to the side and move on. We'll show that here in a little bit. Try and get the bend out of it. Let's see. That one was crisp on there today. Really looking forward to see what this one looks like in person. And then when it's completed, I'm, I'm sure I'm just going to be gobsmacked by it. Let me get out these diamonds and the big sticker. And of course, every kit that comes from Diamond Art Club will contain um, some instructions on how to do it. And inside there, you'll find a code. And I'll show it to you now so you can use it. 
I believe it says thank you 10. Yeah, thank you 10. That'll give you 10% off uh, your order at Diamond Art Club. So, Diamond Art Club's pretty good usually. They don't want you to pay full price. They, uh, they like the discounts. Um, some of the canvases you pull out are flat almost instantly and other ones need a little bit of coaxing to get them flattened out. But as you can see, um, it flattens out really well. Let me get that in my hair. Peek at this. Okay, I want to make sure this is the right way for you guys. It's not going to fit all the way on the table to show you the whole picture, so I do apologize for that, but we'll do the best we can. Are you ready? One, two, three. All right. Can you see it? Oh, can you see it? It's the tree of life. The tree of life by Mandy Manzano. Look at her. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can see through the screen here that it looks even better from your view than it does from mine. So that's exciting. Okay, let's go ahead and measure this real quick. Where did my measuring tape go? Oh, it must have fallen. Silly me. Okay, so this one's supposed to be 74 centimeters by 55 centimeters. Help if I turn the centimeter side. Um, almost 55 centimeters exactly. Again, I'm off the table, so I'm just kind of winging it. And that is almost 74, so it's almost spot on. Usually they're off by just a little bit anyways, so that's, that's good. It's pretty close. All right, let's see, what about this stickiness? It's always good to check the sticky. Make sure it's got some oomph to it. If I can get the cellophane back. There we go. Sorry about that, peeps. Let's get some good stick to it. Grabs nice and good. Yeah. Before I wash you tape this up, I'll need to get all the air bubbles out of it. Yeah, definitely have to run it over with the smoother. Okay, let's look at the keys. And of course, um, I don't know, I can't say of course, because you don't, maybe you don't know this, but with Diamond Art Club, there's normally a key on two sides of the canvas. So that's always nice. Um, let's go ahead and look at the key. All right, let's see if that's gonna clear up. Can you see all the symbols and letters and numbers? Are there any numbers? Oh, there's a one. It's really clear, really easy to tell the difference between them. Let's go ahead and pull this back and see if that helps you look at the drill field a little clearer. Not so much glare. Can you see it? I guess you'll just have to trust me when I say it's super clear. It really is. Um, happy with it, yeah. I mean, I know you can't really see it the right way up when it's like this, but at least it fits on the table this way and I can find no, I don't want, I don't want you to have to see it the wrong way. Um, okay. So there are 38 colors. 
looks like one AB. Um, knowing that, I'll probably put another AB in it. But even then, um, I don't know. I would have to find out where they're at and what color it is before I could really go on to say what I would or wouldn't do, to be honest with you. I'd like to jump to conclusions, but hmm, let's see what this light. Nope, that made it worse. Okay. So let's go ahead and dig into the drills, shall we? Nope, I'm gonna do stickers first. Half ah, light. Sorry about that. Little sticker. Okay. And there's a picture of it. It is, um, I don't know. It's just small. It just tells you the name of the piece, the artist's name, the shape, and the size. I put this on my, uh, front of my, storage container. Some people make cover minders out of them. Diamond Painting with Grace, a uh, YouTuber. She has a video on making cover minders out of them. If you're interested in that, check that out. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, do what you will with it. I just put it on the front of my, camp, my uh, container. Okay, and then the big sticker, which has all the details, of course. I put this in my logbook along with a photocopy of the key. Um, I put the photocopy and make it into a sticker and I put it in my log book. Um, that way when I trim off my canvas edges, I have the key in case of popping drills and stuff. But these are just little stickers that you take off and put onto your storage containers or your uh, plastic baggies, whatever you use for kitting out um, to keep track of your your drills, what color they are, and what symbol they are. So anyways, there's that. Now on to the drills. This is labeled so that if you keep these separate from your other, from your canvas, you can, um, and you can rest assured that they're not going to get mixed up and lost. Sorry about the crinkling, by the way. Look at all these colors. Oh my goodness. All right, so there's some fatties of 310s, which are black. These are all really fat, chunky ones. Can you see those colors? Look at those colors. shine, that extra iridesc iridescent coating makes it pop and kind of really stand out. Okay, I thought I can see where those go here in a minute. Super excited. Sorry, there's a loud vehicle driving by right now. It's making a lot of squeaking on the top of the toes. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter which way it is because you can still see the same uh, color. I like that color. That one too. Yeah. All right, let's look at this AB one more time. Look at that color. Look at that. That's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. So that one. That one is the X. And see, I'm so used to 
the ABs being labeled one, two, or three for the most part. That C and AB, that's an X is kind of weird to me. Okay. I just saw some and then I lost it. Okay, I found a whole bunch. All right, now that I'm knowing what to look for, I found it. All right, so it's all over in here. It goes like this and around like this. It's all swirled throughout the sky right here. And then a little bit up in here and down in here and around like this. So it's just in the sky. So the rest of it is pretty much, let me just double check that and make sure I'm not giving off the wrong information here. I do not see that anywhere else. Okay, no, it is nowhere else. So the, the foreground, the background, and uh, the tree are all uh, regular diamond drills. There's no ABs in there. The ABs are simply up into the sky area of the very background. So, yeah, that'll be really pretty. Um, will I put any more ABs in this? You know, honestly, I think maybe I might do some, a few browns dotted in the tree coming down. There's a few here and a few there, just to kind of give it a sparkle effect, um, to make it pop, make it look like maybe it's being hit by some sort of light source. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'll probably, when I do this piece, I'll probably focus on the top portion of it first and get it completed before I move on to the bottom portion, just to see how that looks with the ABs throughout this section and see if it looks like this section would be super bland without it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll keep playing with that idea, but I'm going to definitely keep an open mind to it. But that is definitely a lot of ABs and a nice little sprinkling um, variety all throughout. Um, I don't know if you can see, but all these little red here, these blue with the red X's, those are all where they go. Let me see, yeah, all that up in there all that in there, there, down throughout here. Yeah, that's just that one side. The side is just as equally covered. Um, you can see all the, the soft purpley kind of color that it gives off right throughout there and all throughout here, here. Cause with that red and that blue, it really makes it look purpley when you look at it. Um, so to me, it kind of stands out now that I know what I'm looking for. Um, anyways, I kind of got lost on the ABs. I get excited about them. Uh, super cool to me. They always get that extra dimension and thinking ABs, I'll have a video coming out soon of more ABs that I got and I'll be showing those colors. Um, that one will be kind of a long video. I have a bunch to show or maybe I'll split it up and just do a few in a couple of different videos, make it shorter. That's what I'll probably do. But anyways, I'm going to pretty much wrap up this because I think I'm done. I've showed it to you. I've given you enough time to take her in. She's beautiful. The Tree of Life by Mandy Manzano. And, um, before I go, I'm going to remind you guys to go ahead and comment that I want it and subscribe to get a chance at winning the pen. And I look forward to see you in the next video. So much love. All right. Bye guys.